Welcome to South Florida, home to sun, sand, and the 2015 NHL entry draft. We've got a couple things in play, so I want to see how far those, uh, those D will drop. The countdown until Don Sweeney's critical first draft is on. But before the first pick is chosen, the new GM is already making decisions that will shape the team for years to come. That's a big Sweeney ultimately pulls the trigger on two of the biggest trades in recent Bruins history. Dougie Hamilton to Calgary for picks 15, 45, and 52 in the 2015 draft. And Milan Lucic to L.A. for the 13th pick, goalie Martin Jones and defense prospect Colin Miller. With the draft now just a few hours away, the Bruins franchise has been decisively altered. The team has gained salary cap flexibility and owns an unprecedented three consecutive first-round picks. Thank you, Boston. Don't swing. Keep your guys draft floor, the Bruins continue to receive inquiries about those three first rounders. After weighing their options, the bees stand pat, staying on the podium to pick an amazing three in a row. Jacob Saboral at 13, Jake DeBrusque at 14, and Zach Senishin at 15. <laughs> Now Bruin fans are concerned over the departure of Luch and Dougie Hamilton, but with the team's salary cap crunch, change was inevitable. For now, the sheer youthful joy of the three newest Bruins offers hope for the future. It's unreal, hey? Yeah. Hey, did you shake? Oh, I shake. Oh, yeah, when I stood up when I was walking, yeah. when I was walking, I was like, my legs went frozen. <laughs> I was just staring at the ground, so I didn't, yeah. I didn't miss a step. Yeah. I was just like, wow. Next up, Jake DeBrusque and his newly drafted teammates must run the post-draft gauntlet of interviews, autographs, and photos. Are you? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, might as well. See if we can get you in studio C. Let me see. Anybody in here? No one's in here. No way. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I like. Yeah. And they just bring out their hands up. Perfect. Just like that. Great. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, wow. You see that? Okay, I'll go quick. I'll go quick. And I have no Twitter on there either. My Twitter notifications are turned off. That's good. Not bad, eh? All right. Uh, who are you most looking forward to playing with on the Bruins? Ooh. That's a good question. <laughs> that happen often. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I would say probably uh, Patrice Bergeron. Just Boston's just a crazy town. I can't wait to get started. It's good. Like I said, unbelievable. I think 17 times that interview, but I, like I was gonna run out of room, so I put on real. But yeah, I know. Insane. I was gonna. I was thinking it, it is insane. It's like how long with the gel, but my mom got a little into it and wanted to do it all, so I don't really know what. Uh, yeah, but she just she did it. So. They're ready for it. On to the next one. Yeah, you smile. Big smile. Oh, okay, we'll do. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, a little bit. Hey. 
They're thrilled to be a part of the organization. Thank you. We're glad to have you. And so a day that has brought profound change to the club winds down. At the post-draft get-together, there are smiles and genuine optimism, but also an awareness that the truly hard work is just beginning.